Have you ever wondered why some information sticks in your memory easily while other things seem impossible to remember? We're going to explore the secrets behind a better memory and how you can kind of improve your memory skills by looking at effortful processing strategies as it relates to psychology. Effortful processing strategies are methods we consciously use to help encode and retain information in memory. Let's break down some of the most effective and known strategies. First, we have chunking. Chunking means that we break information down into smaller, meaningful groups or chunks. For example, remembering a certain set of numbers is easier if we divide it into segments. You might know this like with a phone number where you usually go three digits dash, three digits dash, four digits. Well, you can do that also with other groups of numbers. So for example, if we take five zero zero zero, two zero two four one nine 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 we can break it up because we notice that we have three groups of four and so we can take the first group of five thousand the second group of 2024 which is easier to remember because it's like a date and the second group 1999 like another date we can simplify the process by then instead of saying five zero 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 two zero two four one nine 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 and now say five thousand twenty twenty four nineteen ninety nine chunking simplifies complex information making it easier to process let's move on to mnemonics mnemonics are memory aids or tricks to help you remember through associations images or acronyms for instance, to recall the colors of the rainbow, there's a common mnemonic known as Roy G. Biv. Like a name. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Mnemonics link new information to familiar ideas, making it more memorable. You also, for example, with the Great Lakes have homes. Now there's hierarchies. Hierarchies organize information from broad concepts down to specific details. Think of it like a flow chart or an outline. For example, when studying biology, you might organize information into categories like animal kingdoms, then narrow groups. So you have now mammals, reptiles, amphibians. This structured approach helps your brain understand and retain information clearly. There are two more powerful strategies that you can also utilize. It's known as spacing effect and testing effect. The spacing effect is the practice of spreading study sessions out over time rather than cramming. Instead of studying four hours in one night, study one hour over four days and it's going to dramatically improve your memory retention. The testing effect means actively testing yourself on material you've learned rather than passively rereading notes. Quizzing yourself regularly strengthens memory and helps you retain information longer. Now let's touch on two types of processing, shallow processing and deep processing. Shallow happens when we focus on surface items like memorizing words without understanding their meaning. Deep processing involves fully engaging with information by connecting it to ideas you already know and making it more meaningful. Imagine learning vocabulary words by using them in sentences rather by just repeating the definitions over and over again. Deep processing creates stronger, longer lasting memories. Lastly, making material meaningful is essential. Personal connections help you remember because your brain naturally retains information that's relevant or interesting to you. If you're learning about psychology concepts, try relating them to your own experiences or examples from your life. In summary, using strategies like chunking, mnemonics, hierarchy, spacing, testing, and deep processing significantly enhances your memory. Making information personally meaningful turns passive learning into active, lasting memories. Thanks for watching. Keep practicing these strategies and you'll notice improvements in your memory in no time.